We've got other news to get into here today. Go to the well. And I don't really, uh, I don't really care. Okay, I don't really care about the news. No, this is what I'm about to mention here today. Oh, I don't really care, but it is funny that like this just never ends. So they've already announced. They've already announced that on November 26th in Survivor Series, we're having two War Games matches. Again, I don't care, but it is funny. It's like, you know, in the old days, there would be a reason for war games. You'd have factions that they just absolutely, there was no way to settle this issue except to put them in war games. And WWE's been doing this for years, you know. Oh, it's Hell in a Cell month. What random feud can we put in the cell for fun? It doesn't matter, but yes, they're doing war games. And at this point, the idea is it'll be uh, Team Raw versus Team SmackDown for the men. Team Raw versus Team SmackDown for the women, and... Uh, Wait, no, it's not. It's actually going to be anti that. I thought Triple H did an interview saying that it was going to be more storyline-driven and actually not that way. People are going to be involved, but not necessarily a team versus team thing. Well, I guess we'll see now, won't we? Well, I... then if that's the... Well, I mean, I guess we will see now, won't we? But if they're bringing it back... Look, last year it sucked. The Survivor Series doesn't mean what it used to mean. And for one of the reasons, one of the biggest reasons why is because of the reason that you mentioned. Things are not building towards that. You know, just doing Raw versus SmackDown or just doing a bunch of stuff doesn't mean anything. And I know, look, I know by putting it on Survivor Series that you make it now a gimmick thing. But, you know, those matches being five on five, I like that. I like having storylines built into that cage match. So I'm for this. And I, I obviously now it doesn't mean anything. Next year, it may mean a little bit more if they continue on the path and they interweave stories between, you know, the, whenever in, in Survivor Series. I mean, to, to me, the bloodline all in a row with Sami Zayn there with Roman Reigns against a group that features whoever it's going to be along with maybe that's the time you call up Carmelo because he's had this thing going on. You can actually interweave brands into that and actually have stories that make sense. Same thing with the women. And yes, you do artificially do that, but we do that all the time anyway with, you know, the ladder matches money in the bank as a pay-per-view. I mean, you book yourself. They, that's what they do to market these things. So if you're going to book yourself into a corner that way, if they are going back to the five on five method for at least most of these matches and actually making it somewhat storyline related, I'm all for it. Listen, everyone, I don't I don't care what Hunter said. OK, listen, when the day comes, we'll find out what the match is. But you know what else he said besides it wasn't going to be Raw versus SmackDown? He also said it was going to be storyline driven, which it's not because we already know there's going to be a war games and now they're creating stuff to lead to war games. So storyline driven means you do the storylines and then you announce the match because it plays into the storylines. Not you announce the match and then you make up storylines for it. That's every match. There's no right. match that's not like that in WWE. You're right, but I mean, this is like having Slammiversary with the all cage matches. Unfortunately, this is the era that we're in where... This is going to be January. This will be March. This will be whatever it is. And again, this is, look, that was the whole problem with CM Punk. It always goes back to that CM Punk Ryback situation that they got themselves in trouble with, with Hell in a Cell. To me, I would want to give myself more dexterity than to do that sort of thing. But because of marketing and things that have nothing to do with pro wrestling, sales, marketing, merchandise, all that sort of stuff, that's why they do it. So the only thing that I can ask for in that case is at least make it a storyline worth leading into that. And if that's McIntyre and a bunch of people, however this is going to work, because I would assume it's the bull line, because otherwise, why would you be doing this? I mean, honestly, what else do you have that's going to fit inside of War Games right now that doesn't have Roman Reigns' name on it? This is how the show begins, really. Oscar does a back kick, camera cut. She does a back fist, camera cut. She starts to run, camera cut. She gets a hip attack, camera cut. She drops to her knees, camera cut. She throws a kick, camera cut. She stands up and screams, camera cut to people probably on the floor. I was furious, do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, 
all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.